Uh, well, the 214, 220 provisions for the technical assistance have introduced uh, certain innovations. Uh, in particular support for institutional strengthening and administrative capacity building and of course measures to identify, prioritize and implement structural and administrative reforms in response to economic and social challenges in certain member states. Uh, according to Common Provision Regulation Article 118, the resources allocated to technical assistance at the initiative of the Commission in the current programming period amount to uh, somewhere 0.35% um, of the fund's annual allocation. This represents an increase of 0.1% uh, by comparison with the 27 to 13 period. The competitive framework and self-assessment tool are job aids to help institutions managing the funds in strengthening their human resources capacity. The competency framework and self-assessment are flexible and customizable so that they apply to the different organizational structures in the member states. Furthermore, the pilot projects Integrity Pact, Civil Control Mechanism for Safeguarding EU Funds, aims to explore and promote the use of Integrity Pacts for safeguarding EU funds against fraud and corruption, and as a tool to increase transparency and accountability, enhance trust in authorities and government contracting, contribute to the good reputation of contracting authorities, bring cost savings, and improve competition throughout better procurement which means uh, actually in very short which means the help people at the local level uh, government local government help them um, educate them so they can do the job that government is supposed to do but is not doing so but this is more a little more technical so which means with regard to the strengthening of institutional and technical capacity in many member states the use of funds from the technical assistance has never been offered to a regional or local government which means they come and they teach them to do something but they really there's really no results as we've seen so far this means that technical assistance have been used by national level for the training of regional or local authorities during which the local and regional representatives didn't have the opportunity to articulate their needs instead trainings were not targeted for local needs or adjusted for the targeted groups or of participants. I hope that we will learn from the previous mistakes and improve the future use of the technical assistance. The purpose of the technical assistance is not just to spend money but to use it for the targeted group of participants. And also to inform the local and regional actors on time about all the possibilities offered by the technical assistance so that the trainings which are organized by the member states can really create the need, added value and to enhance the evaluation of the trainings by participants.